Stefan. Yes. You play Commander Rangor, who yes. at the in the first episode of season two is freshly decorated yes. with a knight's cross, mm -hmm. the highest decoration one can get. Mm -hmm. And um, still, it seems to be something he a is expecting to get, and b, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, he's not managing too well to live up to the glorious reputation of that mm -hmm. decoration. Mm -hmm. um, how would you describe Rangel? His motivation? What kind of character is he? Mm -hmm. But first, the cross is something that the system offered him. He's, he's really aware about that what he did is not really a, 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 a hero action, but he knows that for this he will receive the cross, so he's really, he loves it. He's really into it. And he knows that he's, he's a good one, but Rangel is someone who's waiting for death the whole time. Even in, uh, already in the, in, the, in the first season he's waiting for death, because um, in the first season, first episode, um, there's an, an accident, so everyone thinks that he's dead already, and he he um, is coming is coming back in the fourth episode. And during this scene, uh, he has lost his balls, so he lost everything. That's the reason why he's so cold, he's so aggressive, he's kind of the the bad guy. But in the bottom of his heart, he's he's not bad at all. He's just tired, tired of war, and he's kind of sick too but and unhappy that's that that's, yeah. a, that's the most important point important point he's the unhappiest character of all is he something he's already foreshadowing that he knows things will go wrong i mean we can say he was saved and, and exchanged and uh, hoffman picked him up mm -hmm. and so of course i'm i'm sure he knows a little bit how the world on the other side of the ocean looks, um, mm -hmm. but it is so much nicer, much more food, it's not like Germany at wartime or before wars, mm -hmm. um, that he is sort of uh, well, playing the game he has to play. But yes, yeah, 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 he's part of the system for sure, but he don't want to be part of the system anymore, that's the reason why he's waiting for death. He's not strong enough to put the, 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 the gun on yeah. his head and to do it by, by himself, so he's waiting for it. That's the reason why he's so crazy, because he lost everything already. No more balls, no more kids. He's not a man anymore. That's a problem. So he's a strong character, but for me it was really, really uh, important to show as well the other part of this character, because for me a bad guy. For sure, was a good guy before, and there's one point in his life when everything is turning, yeah. and that's why he, he's as crazy as. Is he oh still God. having he Lloyd? Is. Yeah, I mean, he, he really looks good. I mean, he sort of accuses Sub-Lieutenant Ehrenberg mm -hmm. to have demons mm -hmm. and is behaving like one of them. Mm -hmm. Or more like a devilish. No, this he is doing as well because he needs him. For him, it's, 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 it's sure he needs Ehrenberg on the boat. So he needs, he, he tries to find something to make him, what's the word, uh, abhängig. Um, addicted. Addicted. Addicted to him. And so there's, as well, the scene, the scene is kind of really cold, really aggressive, but there's, there's a second part of the scene, and this is under, under the scene, that there's a kind of commitment, you have to do it because I need you. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Ehrenberg is the, the top engineer they have. I mean, yeah, he's the best. He's yeah. the best of the system. And he knows that. Yeah. Um, we can say you are going to be the predator and there will be a prey. Mm -hmm. There is a boat going lost, let's mm -hmm. put it that way, and mm -hmm. he is sort of yeah, sent off to hunt. Mm -hmm. Is it something he uh, enjoys? Yes. Why? Yes. Because there's another captain, and it's like it's like episode one. There can only be one, not two. And they, they there's yeah. You saw the the, the, the first and the second episode. So there's a kind of um, contact between both of them, and they know he yeah. knows him, and the other side as well, because they are both uh, German Second World War superheroes. So um, in the script, there was just written the scene during the Christmas party, and then Rangel arrives and. They try to shake hands, and uh, and uh, von Reinhardt don't want to shake his hand. And for me, it was like, but come on, this is this is this is this is girly shit. 
to yeah. say, take my hand. No, you don't want my hand. So we needed to find something more, more important for the scene for me. So I decided to play more, as I told already before, he's part of the system. So he's doing the... The, the hand up. The hand up. Yeah. So The salutation. So the other one has to do it. But he's refusing to do it. And that's the reason why Wrangel is against against Van Reinhardt, because with only this gesture he can feel that he's not part of the system anymore. But um, the order to be knighted with this mm -hmm. medal he has, it's also very important. He sh likes to show it. Ah, yeah, every time. In the bath, everywhere. Yeah, even when he's arrested. Yes, It's very everywhere. important. Yeah. Do you think, because we have von Reinhardt's and that mm. was also a conflict within, especially in the Marine, that all yeah. the former, let's say, loyalty, mm. uh, royalty, sorry, um, was, um, had this noblesse oblige feeling that they were mm -hmm. a little bit superior yeah, yeah. and the rest, like Wrangel, mm -hmm. has a name in German which means yeah. you really have to fight up. Wrangel is the also... He's a normal guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah and the, sure. the, 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 the word... Rangeln, mm -hmm. Rangeln mm. is in it, so he had to fight his way. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, 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 it's true. So uh, yeah, maybe this is this is a small part of the conflict between both of them. Yeah. Can you give small. us a little more? Um, I saw just a tiny bit. Um, so he's on a hunt, mm -hmm. but he also has part of Hoffman's old crew because uh, mm -hmm. the admiral sort of splitted the crews up because mm -hmm. of. Front holidays and Christmas mm -hmm. and everything so some were allowed to swap the team or were forced to swap mm -hmm. so he does not only have his own men from before he mm -hmm. also has new guys but he has as well the guys from before on the other boat who is from Reinhardt's yeah and that's the point because they know Rangel and they know that Rangel is the best one yes so there might be a switch in between them. so it's a could we consider it as a huge chess play between the two? Because yes. I know you have the coordinates yes, and yes, all yes, the yes, squares. Yes, it is. So, it uh, is. Um, in the beginning, von Reinhardt has um, sank a boat mm -hmm. and did something he had to do, but the boat was different than he was told to. So, mm -hmm. he has also his demons because he feels guilty. Mm -hmm. Does Rangel feel guilty for something? Yes. But he's not uh, able to show it. That's a that's a part of the character. So he has to be he has to play the poker face. Yeah. Because he's a uh, he's a guy who is there for everyone. So everyone he's, if there's if there's any questions, so Rangel needs to have an answer. And he has a lot of demons as well, as well. So that's why I told at the I told you at the beginning that the system is making a hero of him. But he knows that what happened is not a. a Victims of propaganda. Yeah, yeah. When you played him in the first season, where he was only in a few episodes, mm -hmm. now you're you're one of the leads. Mm -hmm. Did you see that coming? Yes. No, but they they told me All because right. I worked with uh, with Oliver Vogel on yeah. the Tatort in Dortmund as well for five years. So um, Oliver and Moritz, especially Moritz Moritz Polter, told me, okay, I have a series for you, but in the first part. You are not the main part, and um, for all this uh, press and uh, promotion stuff, we can't interview you because if we are doing this, we will show that you are part of the crew. But they love to have this 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 this, uh, this um, fact that someone is arriving at the beginning and after two minutes he's he's yeah. away. So yes, he told me this is the first season and the second season will be something else. Stefan, um, you are not the typical German, you have a different background, you mm -hmm. also act a lot in France and mm -hmm. in uh, foreign productions. Um, what is he? 2019 seems to be quite a big year for you, you have a lot coming out in the next... Yeah, there's another really nice project uh, um, called Freud for Netflix with uh, an Austrian director, Marvin Krenn. Marvin, Marvin Krenn. Yeah. He is uh, such a crazy genius. It was incredible. So this uh, is the next project. That's the about Dr. Freud. The, hmm? the one about Dr. Freud. About Dr. Freud. What and kind I'm of playing the Kronkens Rudolf. Oh. Yes. 
The yes. one who shot himself for yeah. that. Yeah, Meierling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this is another really nice project and uh, I have a German um, movie production from August to September. It's a really nice project too because I'm playing a tetraplegica. Yeah. I don't know the English word, it's the same. Yeah, Tetra I think it's tetraplegic. Tetraplegic. Um, and after that the French production, it's not confirmed yet, but... So we don't talk about it. No. Not jinx it. No, there's, there's something coming up. And I have a production company as well, so I'm co-producing a French-German cinema movie next year. And I will play the lead as well. I live in France. I work on French productions. And you have the good food. There are some English guys knocking on my door. Yeah, <laughs> I do understand. For two weeks now, since two weeks now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.